Uh, my name is Ken DeSessa from Rebelwood. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to be with us today. Uh, we have two other participants in today's webinar. One is Adam Riskin from Rebelwood, and one is Kimberly Kinsey from Lewis Management Group. Uh, so today's agenda is going to be really pretty simple. Um, Adam is first going to tell you a little bit about Black Line. It's not going to take but a minute or two, just so you have in your head some of the elements of Black Line that are going to be important to understand as we uh, talk about it today. We're going to follow that uh, with a, a Q&A with Kimberly, who is a recent Black Line customer with Revelwood. She's gone through the implementation within the last, I think it's four or five months. And she's got some other experiences to share. And then Adam is going to pop back in and do a demonstration of Black Line. Okay, so that's our agenda for today. Um, I do want to let you know we'd appreciate uh, a quick conversation with you, maybe at some point after the webinar. So you'll receive an invite from someone from Revelwood, maybe Michael, maybe myself, uh, just asking for a 15 minute phone call if you have interest. And we can talk a little bit more about Black Line, some of the things that you might be uh, specifically interested in. So I appreciate that. And um, I think that is all. So Adam, why don't you take it away? Okay, thank you, Kenny. All right, um, so Blackline offers eight different modules to help accounting teams close the books. But the conversation today is gonna cover the three most commonly used modules. The first one is the balance sheet reconciliation module. And it has a ton of features that can save you time and reduce errors when doing your balance sheet recs. So you'll hear us talk about auto certification rules. And these rules allow the system to complete recs for you, eliminating the need for your team to spend any time completing those recs. And on average, Blackline sees their customers have 60% of reconciliations automated via these auto certification rules. The second module we'll talk about is the transaction matching module. And this module can automatically match transactions from one file against another. The most common use case is for bank reconciliations. And we do this by creating pass rules or match rules within the system. And that allows the system to do all the work of matching journal entries to bank transactions. And most of our customers see the system matching over 90% of their bank transactions for them. And the last module we'll talk about is the, I'm sorry, is the task management module. This is the module that helps track month-end closed tasks. So everyone on your team knows what they're responsible for completing, and management can quickly see which tasks are completed and which aren't at any point in the close. So again, we just wanted to give you some perspective of what the conversation will be about. All right, Kenny, I will pass it back to you. Thank you, Adam. There's some statistics on Blackline um, that maybe we sh could share. I don't know if you had those, Adam. Um, no, I'm sorry. I don't, okay. I don't have that slide that, here. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Well, I'm going to start my video. And Kimberly, you were coming on. That was the right thing to do. Kimberly was right on cue. So listen, Ken DeSessa here. Uh, Kimberly on screen already. And uh, Kimberly, I appreciate you coming. Folks, there is a Q&A uh, button at the bottom of the screen. If you have any questions, put it in there. If we can answer it as we go along, we'll certainly try to do that. I'll keep my eye on it. If we can't answer it during this session, certainly we'll send you an answer via email if we know who you are. So uh, please feel free to enter questions in. All right, Kimberly, well, welcome. So first thing, Kimberly, why don't you just tell us a little bit about your company and, and your specific role in Lewis Management Group? Good afternoon. So as Kenny mentioned, I'm Kimberly Kinsey. I'm the financial reporting controller for Lewis Management Group. And we have three segments of our business. The first one is apartments. Second is commercial and um, industrial. And then the last is land development. So what's unique about our company is we have over well, almost 400 companies. So it makes it really challenging to do our reconciliations overall. And then I'm also a prior um, Blackline user besides uh, just at the Lewis companies. Excellent. So you were managing the financial close when we first talked to you at Lewis in Excel, and then you decided to automate. What is sort of what happened that caused you to get to the point of wanting to automate and look into automation? So luckily for us, our CFO wanted us to get rid of our old workflow system, which was Documentum. 
and we were um, routing our bank reconciliations through that system. So it was a perfect time to go ahead and migrate to something that would be more robust and be able to streamline all of our reconciliations at the same time. Um, so many of our uh, bank accounts and reconciliations, we didn't have any visibility and we couldn't see the completeness of the recs. And so we didn't have a really good workflow in place. We had them saved all over the server. And so it wasn't very easy to grab a reconciliation. What about in, in the same regard, what about just sort of the, the written policies and procedures and overall sort of knowledge that gets contained in one individual? Is that a problem for you? Definitely. So we had a lot of tribal knowledge. We've had a lot of folks that have been here for 25 to 30 years that had it, of course, in their um, heads, but didn't have anything written down on paper. So it was great to be able to utilize Blackline to be able to house their documents and make sure that we had everything ready to go because we didn't really have any desktop policy and procedures either that we had readily available. Excellent. So tell us about the evaluation process that you went through. What were you looking to do? You know, how did how did you lay that out? So I partnered with my VP controller, Adriana Drake, and then we looked at um, several other software systems that were out there. And um, one of them was not robust enough for us to be on it long term. And as the company grew, and especially with since we have just under 400 companies, we knew we were going to continue to grow at that pace. And then, um, but overall, it was very similar price points too as well, which was a, a surprise to us. Okay, so you looked at a total of three systems, including including Blackline. Yes. Okay, great. So, what made you finally select Blackline? <laughs> That's so, the million dollar I, question, right? Exactly. So for me, it was prior experience that really helped bring it to the table as well. Also, um, stronger, robust matching rules and an engine. And it was easy for a regular accountant pretty much to manage the Blackline system and no need for the IT department, which is always nice to not have to rely on IT and be able to rely on your own accounting team. And then also the speed of the reconciliation and the automated matching um, compared to the capabilities that Blackline offered you'd get a higher matching rate inside the black line box than you would with other um, software systems. And then what I like is when employees, of course, go on vacation, um, it's easy to reassign reconciliations. That way you can make sure your team is still being covered and all of the workload is still being um, tackled. And then it's easy to go ahead and reassign the recs back to the original um, uh, responsibility. And then documenting the reconciliations too is easy. So if you're gonna go ahead and assign a reconciliation to another group, it's easy. They've got all of the information right there on step-by-step -step on how to actually reconcile run reports, um, what things need to be added to the rec, what things you can um, make sure that they have a, a nice a checklist as they're going through the reconciliation. Um, what also is amazing is the supervisors and managers have a dashboard. That way you can actually track your team's progress throughout the month to make sure you guys are on track for a close. And then you can reassign tasks and or reconciliations as needed to make sure you're gonna meet the close deadline. Um, also the auto certification rules are definitely more robust in the black line system. And so that's nice because if you want your accountants to really concentrate on doing analysis and higher level um, or harder reconciliations, they will have the time to do that. That way they're not just doing a roll forward, they're actually having to dive into the harder recs. So the auto certification will go ahead and auto certify if there's no activity for the month and the balance hasn't changed, but you can modify your rules as needed. And then it's also easy to quantify the volume of work that's going through during, you know, every department. And if you need additional resources, then it's easy to explain to your uh, CFO why you need additional headcount or possibly um, a redistribution of responsibilities even amongst your own team. And let's see. Oh, and then um, just a heads up, I did use the journal entry module in a previous company. Um, also, yeah, we utilize the task management module for Sarbanes-Oxley too, as well in a previous company. But I'm a private company now, so I don't have to deal with any of the um, auditors, which is amazing. <laughs> and then we also <laughs> implemented the variance and flux analysis at my previous company too, as well. So it's definitely a very robust system. So just for the audience, the auto, auto reconciliation rules and the matching engine really are the things that allow you to save a lot of time because they automate those reconciliations so that they're basically hands off. Um, the journal entries that Kimberly mentioned, 
Um, so journal entries are created in Blackline and pushed back to the whatever your ERP system is. That's typically done on a, as a phase two for most of our companies. Uh, that's why Adam didn't initially mention it in the, the big circle, but you can see it to the right of task management. So when you thought about the implementation, the strategy and the goals you might have for implementation, what you had planned, how did it ultimately play out for you? It went really well. So the first module that we went up with, which is the easiest one for everyone, is the task management module. That way it gets the users excited about the system. It's easier for them to understand, learn how to certify, decertify, and understand the whole flow. So it's um, a lot easier. So we were able to get that one up and running within a month. Um, we signed with Blackline on uh, September 30th, and we were able to get our October um, task loaded into the system and start utilizing it pretty much right away. Then our next step was my um, personal favorite, of course, is the bank reconciliation side. And the first um, 50 bank recs were up and running within month one. And then we had um, 200 reconciliations done by month two and the remaining 250 in month three. So this was amazing. So it was fantastic to see everyone be excited about the product and also be able to view and see exactly how we were doing with our status um, overall for completion. And then our balance sheet reconciliations, we didn't um, put the rest of them online until January of 2023 because we wanted to close out our year utilizing our old system. And we wanted to give everybody time to get used to the system and not have to rush through it. And so, yes, we started off our new year nice and fresh. So it's wonderful. Awesome. So the, um, the bank recs that Kimberly was uh, referring to, uh, what was really amazing about that, Revelwood helped her with the first, what was it, 50 maybe? Yes. And then they took it from there and did the rest on their own. I mean, maybe they had some questions for for in there, but they did the remaining 450 on their own in the time frame. So I think that says a lot about the product's ease of use. What and about also utilizing the training from Revelwood, definitely, and being able to um, leverage Adam for being able to train the trainer and then also showing us the um, trips, you know, all the, uh, the, what do you call it, the tricks in order to get everything up and running too as well. And then Tips it was- and tricks, yeah. <laughs> and then for the IT department, it was not very much heavy lifting on their side at all. Once they built an export for our trial balance and our journal entry extract, it was hands off after that, which is always nice because the IT department loves to not have a lot of, um, you know, kind of maintenance on their side. So this was great just to utilize a few hours of their work and then be able to be hands off after that. So overall, I would say definitely get a partner in crime and um, Revel definitely is awesome. Um, they were helped out with the initial matching roles, one-on-one -on -one training. Also, um, Adam was always available if we had quirky things that were happening or things we needed to run and buy them. And then he was 100% um, support through us for the first um, live month and also for our close. And then any other um, strange things that come up too, we can always rely on him um, via email or, or pick his brain and things that we can do next. So just for the audience, we we didn't pay you to say Revelwood is awesome, did we? <laughs> no, we, no, not at all. We did not pay you. <laughs> uh, so a couple of things just to make it clear for people, because we're often asked about IT. It was literally just a couple of hours of IT time, right? Yes. Yeah. So it, it's not, there's not a tremendous lift at all by IT. They get involved in that initial extract. And then if you have a single sign-on, that might be the only other thing that they get involved in is setting up the system with whatever single sign-on uh, software you're using. Right. So you've been using the system now then since September, so six, seven, eight months. How is it, what have you seen as the ultimate benefit for you guys right, right now? So definitely happier employees because they can focus now on analysis and more challenging tasks instead of just rolling forward their reconciliations. And then our managers and supervisors have better visibility of their team. They can truly see if their team has done and is on track with their tasks and their reconciliations for the month and then be able to reassign um, items as needed. And we also have had um, employees move from one department to the other. So it's really easy to reassign tasks um, inside the black line system. So it's uh, fantastic. We've also saved one um, full-time employee on the bank reconciliation side. And then our um, at my old job, I was tasked with speeding up the close calendar, and we were able to close within, I mean, we were supposed to close, we were closing around 10 days, we sped up to about five days. 
So if that's one of the goals of your company, it's really nice because you'll have the visibility of what tasks are holding you back and then how you can move your calendar and shift it maybe to week four or five in order to make sure that you're um, closing on a more timely basis. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna wrap up with one last question. I think we're right on time. So what's next for Lewis in terms of Blackline, anything? Yes, so currently we're working on the AR module and we have an, um, an outside ERP system that does all of our billing for our commercial tenants. And we wanna go ahead and accept 100% ACH payments. So we need a system that can do matching again, which we know Blackline can do, is line up our bank of, a bank file, um, of course, comprising of all of the ACH payments and line it up against your billing file and be able to produce a matching file that will go back into our ERP system to show how things have been paid. So that's our next step on our list because we have about over a thousand tenants and about 60 properties. Okay, awesome. So so as we wrap up, just just one question um, that came in. So you obviously used Blackline in the past. You came to Lewis, but you went out and looked at three other companies. What drove you to really, is we, I think we talked about this a little bit, drove you to, to not just adopt Blackline and look at other companies. Anything in particular? Yes, because we are a private company. I wanted to make sure that the modules that Blackline had to offer, since we're only utilizing three out of the majority of them, that it was going to be the best fit for um, Lewis overall. And then also because they are unique with so many um, uh, companies, I wanted to make sure that Blackline was going to be robust enough to handle all of it compared to my previous job, which only had four companies. Gotcha. Okay, excellent. Well, Kimberly, thank you very much. We appreciate you joining us today. No um, we actually, are, we're right on time, maybe a minute, minute past, but that's okay. Adam, I'm going to shut us down in terms of our video, and uh, you're ready to go with your demo. Okay. Thanks, guys, and great job. Thank you. Thank you also, Kimberly. Really appreciate that. Okay. So now what we'd like to do is do a, a deeper dive into the three modules that were just discussed. So let's jump into the first module, the account reconciliation module. And again, this is the module to help you out with your balance sheet reconciliations. Now, one of the great things about it is how much time it saves you each month. For a lot of customers, before they implemented this system, they spent one to two weeks reconciling accounts. And that's with more than one accountant. And the main reason the reconciliations took so much time was because it was manual and in Excel. But after they implemented Blackline, many customers reduced their time spent on reconciliations. It also provides many controls to make sure your GL balances are correct. Recs, and, recs are complete and contain all supporting items, and that recs are always completed on time. So let's take a look at how they work. Now, this is a high-level overview of how an account reconciliations work in Blackline. Each account is assigned a reconciliation template to store your supporting items. So for example, if you're reconciling a prepaid account, you can pick an amortization template. You only have to enter those items one time and the system rolls forward that schedule for, that schedule for you each month. For reconciling a bonus accrual account, you can use an accrual schedule template and set up your accrual schedule for the year. For your bank recs, you can use a template that shows your ending bank balance, outstanding checks and deposits in transit. And it gives you that nice final bank to book report view. And there's many other reconciliation templates the system offers. Out of the box, there are 12, but you could always create many more if you'd like. Now, to help you complete your reconciliations each month, the system automatically imports some key information. So for example, your trial balance automatically imports and populates the GL balances on your recs. You can schedule the import to occur as often as you wish. And this ensures that the GL balance on your recs is always correct. Now, we like to say that Blackline is ERP agnostic. It can integrate with any GL system. All we need is a trial balance file, which all GL systems can create. And it also easily integrates with multiple GL systems if that's what your organization has. You'll be able to enter supporting items and attach documents to your recs. These can be entered directly by the preparer, 
are automatically uploaded from the subsystem. A common example here is to feed a list of sales and payable invoices into the system. Then the system will auto-populate your accounts payable and accounts receivable recs with those details. And it minimizes the time spent to complete the rec and ensures it's always accurate. Now, after the supporting items and GL balances are fed into each rec, then Blackline tries to complete it using those auto certification rules. And that's right, the system can complete those RECs for you. And I'll talk about those rules a little bit more on the next slide. Now, for the RECs that can't be auto certified, there's a workflow assigned of who should prepare, approve, and review it. And the system has all kinds of tools to help with that process. Now, these are the auto certification rules I talked about in the, on the last slide. The system looks at the GL balance and supporting items, and if certain criteria is met, can mark that rec as complete. So one very common rule is the amortization schedule rule. So when you create an amortization schedule and reconciliation, the system rolls forward that schedule each month. So when the next month comes along and the GL balances are imported, if the GL balance matches up to the amortization schedule balance, the system can mark that REC as complete. Another common rule is the GL balance is zero rule. So if an account has a GL balance of zero and no journal entries were posted to it, the system can recognize it and mark that REC as complete. Another common rule is the GL balance is unchanged from prior month. So if that occurs on a REC, again, the system can recognize it and mark that REC as complete. And this is a huge time saver for many customers. It eliminates time spending reconciling those low risk accounts. And again, on average, Blackline's customers see 60% of their account reconciliations completed by the system using these auto certification rules. So here's an example of a prepaid reconciliation of Blackline. The screenshot in the upper left is the face of the reconciliation. Notice the top section. These are my supporting items based on an amortization schedule. Now on the face of the rec, I see each prepaid item and it's any balance for the month. But with one click, I can see the full amortization schedule for all months. And that's the screenshot in the bottom right. This is typically the schedule you need to manually roll forward each month when you're doing your recs in Excel. But again, with Blackline, the schedule automatically rolls forward for you. Notice the middle section for comments. If something is important or different about the rec this month, enter that narrative here. You typically know what questions managers and auditors are gonna ask you about a rec. So by adding that information here, they can see it for themselves and you avoid the time spent on a call or email explaining it. The bottom section there is for supporting documents. You could attach any file to a reconciliation. We see in a lot of companies where documents are spread across file shares or emails, and it can be time consuming for people to find those documents they need. Now, you can attach them directly to the REC. So now approvers, reviewers, managers, now have one single place to grab those documents. We also see a lot of customers give their auditors access to the RECs. This way you no longer need to gather and email these documents each year for your auditors. Since everything is attached to the Blackline REC, they can go into the systems themselves and pull everything that they need for their audit. The last thing I want to mention is the standardization of these RECs. You ever open an Excel REC done by two different accountants? They can look so different, making it harder to understand them. Both may use different color coding and formatting. One uses a pivot table, the other uses some if formulas. It can be time consuming to understand them. So with Blackline, RECs always look the same no matter which accountant completes them. It's gonna make it so much easier on the reviewer or a new employee taking over reconciliation responsibilities. Okay, all right. So the next module we'll cover is the transaction matching module. When we're talking about transaction matching, we're talking about matching records from one data source to another. And the most common example is a bank reconciliation. And to help explain the transaction matching module, 
Let's look at a sample bank reconciliation. This is how most companies do it today in Excel. They take the general ledger and bank data, dump them out to an Excel file, put them side by side, and then match records one by one. So I got check number 54282 for $500 on my bank statement. Let me go find it on my GL. And when I find it, cross it off or we change it to a color. We also see some companies manually click on each deposit and withdrawal in their ERP system, and they do that to mark it as clear. But either way, it's a very manual and time-consuming process. So here's how the transaction matching module can help. So here's a high-level overview of how the module works. On a scheduled basis, the GL system creates a journal entry extract file, and the bank creates a file with your bank transactions. Both are imported into Blackline, and this can be done on a scheduled basis. Some companies actually do it daily, so issues are recognized immediately, and the work is all completed before the month-end cycle comes around. Then the system runs the files through its matching engine, and this is where the magic happens. Blackline will match your journal entries to your bank transactions for you. And the matching capabilities are advanced and can match using any data fields within your files. We even match multiple journal entries to multiple bank transactions. And with those advanced matching capabilities, most customers see the system match over 90% of the transactions for them. Transactions the system successfully match go into this match bucket. You don't need to spend any time looking at them, but they're there for audit purposes or, or research purposes if you want to take a look at them. And for the transactions left over, the system has all kinds of features to help you match them or mark them as an outstanding item on your final bank to book report. Okay. So here's a, here's, a, here's a short video showing how a bank reconciliation is done in the system. What you see on the screen now are transactions for an operating account reconciliation. And these have been preloaded into the system. It includes both depository and disbursement transactions. The left side shows the bank transactions and the right side shows the journal entries. Now, the loading of these transactions can be fully automated where the system automatically imports on a scheduled basis. And it can be as frequent as several times a day if you want. No human steps are required. Now let's look at the logic needed to reconcile this account. We have some AP checks here, where if the check number and the amount are the same, the transactions match. We have some deposits here, where if the amount, date, BAI code and document type are the same, the transactions are matched. We have the total amount of multiple ACH journal entries matched to one withdrawal on the bank statement. We have the total amount of multiple ZBA bank credits matched to the total amount of multiple journal entries. And maybe the most impressive feature, the system can look for any combination of bank transactions that sum up to the same amount as a journal entry. Now, all this logic that we just saw, it can be set up in the system. So the system can automate and do all this matching work for you. Blackline calls these pass rules. You can create as many as you want. You can utilize all the fields in your bank and journal entry files in your matching logic, and they're really easy to set up. So let's take a look at some of those pass rules. Here's those five pass rules set up in the system. Let's take a look at the pass rule to match our AP checks. First, I tell the system which records are AP checks. On my bank side, BAI code 475 represents a check. And if you're not using BAI codes or aren't familiar with them, there are other ways to flag a transaction as an AP check. On my journal entry side, it's an entry with a document type of PMCHK. Then I tell the system that the amounts and the check numbers of the bank and journal entries need to be the same to mark them as a match. And it's really as simple as that. So now that we've seen an overview of the setup, let's actually run these pass rules and see this automation in action. 
I'm putting these screens side by side to help here. The right screen contains all my bank and journal entry transactions for the month. I have 212 bank transactions and 237 journal entries, about 500 in total. Keep those numbers in the back of your head for a minute. Now, I'll click the button that reconciles these transactions using the five pass rules. Note that although you see me clicking buttons for each step, these steps can be automated. I'm just manually doing it that way for this demo because it helps people understand how the system works. So the system is finished reconciling these transactions. So after refreshing the screen, notice how most of the records are gone. That's because the system just matched them. The only remaining transactions are the exceptions. So picture this in your current world. The system is scheduled to do this work daily, weekly, or monthly, but it runs at night and it matches 90 to 95% of your transactions. Your team comes into work in the morning, opens the system and comes to this screen. And they only need to research these remaining exceptions. Picture the time saved with this approach. Now your team can spend more time on researching the exceptions instead of just finding them or have more time to spend on other projects and initiatives. Picture the ability to identify discrepancies immediately instead of waiting till month end, or completing your recs before the close instead of after. The benefits are endless. Also, note that I'm using a small number of transactions in this demo because it makes it easier to follow, but the system can easily handle hundreds of thousands of records if that's what you have. Now, here's how to handle the remaining exceptions. In this example, we have these two deposits the system didn't match. It's because my bank transactions had a date of June 5th, but the associated journal entry date was June 25th. I told my pass rules to ignore them because the dates were so far apart. But that's okay, because I can match them from this screen. I click on my two bank transactions and two journal entries. Now, check out this section of the screen. It's my helper. It's showing that the two bank items I clicked totaled $17,500, and the two journal entries I clicked were also $17,500. And the difference here is obviously zero. This helps me to know that the exceptions I'm matching in the screen are the same amounts. The last step is to click the match button And now those transactions are gone from this screen because they're match. All that's left are these remaining checks in my journal entry transactions. These are outstanding checks that haven't cleared the bank yet. Here's the steps to mark them as outstanding at the end of the month. I click on all the checks. Come over here and click the create item button. So I mark these as outstanding items. So all that's left to do is go and review my final bank to book report. So here's my final report. At the very top, you can see a full audit trail of your bank and journal entry transaction matches. If I click on the automatic link, this shows me all the transaction the systems match for me. For example, if I click on this match right here for my ZBA credits, I can see on the top the five bank transactions that match to the two journal entries on the bottom. And the sum of both total $350,000. The bank balance is automatically populated for you when you load the bank files. So you don't need to spend time keying them in, and you know they're always accurate. These are the supporting items we just flagged a few minutes ago. Here's the GL balance. This gets imported directly from your general ledger system, so you don't need to key in those amounts either. 
The unidentified difference, this is my bank balance, less outstanding checks, less GL balance. Zero means that my report is in balance. And notice these two sections down here. I have a comment section where I can enter any specific comments about this reconciliation. And in this section, I can attach any documents like a copy of my bank statement. And the beauty of this is that all the information about your reconciliation is here in one single screen that everyone knows how to access. No need to search through a file share to find the different documents anymore. Also, all your bank recs, no matter which user prepares them, is always in the standardized format. It's much easier for managers to review, and you can just give your auditors access to your system instead of spending time emailing them a ton of documents. Okay. All right, and keep in mind that although this module is commonly used for bank reconciliations, it can actually automate any scenario where you're matching records from multiple files. So note all the other listed examples of how the transaction ma matching module can be used. And it can actually match records from up to three different data sources. So you can use it to reconcile your journal entries to a different subledger or purchase orders to inventory received or even a three-way match between your credit card statements, bank statements, and journal entries. So if you're spending significant time each month matching these transactions in Excel, Blackline can save you that time by doing the work for you. Okay, so the, the third module, the last module we'll talk about today is the task management module. And most companies use it to track their month end close tasks. Now, most companies track closed tasks in Excel. They'll have a list of tasks, who's responsible for completing them, and a date they're due in an Excel file. And the, the challenge with that is that anyone can make changes to the file, users can enter incorrect completion dates, and there's no notification if a task becomes overdue. And the task management module has all kinds of features to help you manage your closed tasks. A couple of them are listed here on the screen, but some of the big ones, you get an audit trail when tasks are signed off. So you know exactly when the task was completed and approved and by who. The system has email alerts it sends out. And this could be for tasks that are overdue or task waiting on approvals. So everyone gets that proactive notification when a problem is close to occurring. The system also has management reports and dashboards to quickly see which tasks are complete and which are, are outstanding at any point in the month. You don't have to spend any time asking your team for updates on their closed tasks, and they won't have to spend time giving them. So you'll feel more confident that closed tasks are being performed properly and on time. And when they aren't, you'll know about it immediately. Here's what a closed task looks like in Blackline. It shows all the tasks, who's responsible for completing them, when it's due, and other key information. Now, as an accountant, you can quickly see all the tasks you're responsible for completing and the status of each task. This gives you instant visibility into what still needs to be completed at month end. And if you're out on PTO or leave the company, the new person taking on your role knows everything that needs to be done. It's gonna be a much shorter learning curve for them. Now, as a manager, your screen contains the task for your entire team. So you'll have that instant visibility into your team's tasks, what's left to be completed, and who's responsible for completing it. So no more need to have status meetings or email updates. All the information is at your fingertips in the system. Okay, all right, and that concludes today's webinar. Um, I just wanna thank everyone for taking the time to join today. Um, if you do have any other questions, please feel free to email us at info at revelwood.com. Uh, also, just a reminder, we will be reaching out for a quick 15 minute introduction call. 
We hope that you can accept that and just have a quick conversation with us. Thanks again, everyone. Thank you.